Hi, and welcome back to my tutorials on Inkscape and Scal. Today was exciting as Craft Edge has released its newest version of Shortcut Salot, Shortcut Salot 2. Uh, lots of neat upgrades and changes, um, very user friendly, and uh, I want to show you a few things. Um, in particular, I was interested in investigating the uh, new ability of Scal to trace JPEGs and GIFs directly in the program without the need for Inkscape. So I'll show you how that works a little bit and um, I'll show you the pros and cons of using that kind of capability. Um, the first thing I want to mention though is the uh, user interface of Scal2. Really clean and neat and one of the best things that they've done is changed how the layout can be saved uh, and used again in your preferred mode. So when I first popped up Scal2, this is the screen I got. But I always use a 12 by 12 page. And I like to be able to see most of it. I like to zoom out a little bit. And I like to move this down. Sometimes I like to get rid of the basic shapes. I don't use them too much. And I like to move all of this over. Now, I mean, that really is your own preference. But I can save this now as Window, Workspace, and I can save my workspace and I'll call this my Cricut workspace. So now I can fire up Scal2 directly into the preferred mode that I like it. But if I change my mind and want to change it back, the original is still there as basic and advanced. Um, advanced has a difference down here. There's a layers option and I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. It is a really neat feature that I like quite a lot. So the big question, can this work as well as Inkscape to trace your raster images, your GIFs and JPEGs and bitmaps? Let's take a look, shall we? So the buttons here at the top are a little bit different. Uh, import SVG, I think we used to have to go File, Import SVG. Now there's a little quick button. The next one over, Trace Image. We're going to click that and it gives you a little pop-up dialog box. You're going to browse for the image and I've downloaded a couple of images to test out. I'm going to first of all pick quite a simple image. It's a solid color JPEG image and you can call it a clip, clip art. Uh, there's the little preview of the original. The settings, we're going to leave them all the same and preview. The light green outline is the cutting line. Looks good. I'm going to click on OK. There it is. That will cut out just beautifully. I really like it. So that is a solid clip art style image. Let's take a look and see what happens with a coloring page. I use a lot of coloring pages. I like to make layered images. Let's see what this can do. I'm going to browse again. And this time I have a little dolphin that's a coloring page. Black lines with a white center, eye and mouth. Looks good there. Let's click on OK. Ah, so we have a double cutting line. If you look closely at this one, there's one line. It's going to cut out wonderfully. This one has a double line. Um, Inkscape, you would break this apart at this point and um, assemble it in the way you like. If you look at my tutorial number one, You'll see more details on that. Sadly, Scal is unable to break this apart. I suppose you could still cut this. You get a very skinny outside area. Um, I don't know that you'd be able to use it. But uh, still, a really great improvement using this one, uh, using just a clip art style image. If you go into a really complicated um, image, like the ones I use, for my precious moments. Let's pull one of those up and take a look. So this is one I did on my other tutorial. Click on OK. We're going to get the same thing it looks like. There's a double line. So the unfortunate part about Scal is you're unable to break this into pieces like you would in Inkscape. But the great part is that you can take simple JPEGs and GIFs, clip art style images, and cut them more directly than you having to use Inkscape uh, to adjust them first. So um, way to go, Craft Edge. Looks really great. 
Um, there's still, you know, some um, use for Inkscape out there, folks. So if you're interested, please drop by my blog and uh, take a look at some of my tutorials. Uh, but uh, I have to say, I'm really liking the upgrades. Check out uh, my next video on some of the other new features of Scal 2. And thanks for watching.